Babe? Yes, sir. Uh, Marie and George I'm Christian on. are going to get on just a minute. All right. We're both on. Fred. All right. Go ahead. First, I, I want to make sure that everybody understands that it uh, doesn't make any difference uh, legally. You can take uh, the oath without any book or Bible, or you can take it on a copy of Playboy, and that doesn't make any difference. You understand that, George? Yes, sir. Now, second, to get to the uh, precise uh, problem here, I think it would be a mistake uh, to say nothing about this. I think the story ought to be told if upon inquiry, when inquiry is made. And this is uh, what uh, I think ought to be said, that uh, the president, uh, uh, that uh, inquiry has been made of the White House archives, that uh, the president took his oath on uh, a uh, book that uh, uh, Judge uh, Hughes um, had uh, been handed by someone on the plane. It was, it is a missile or a prayer book that belonged to the late President Kennedy. That uh, after the ceremony on the plane, somebody, uh, probably the Secret Service man, although Mrs. Johnson doesn't, uh, isn't sure. Somebody handed uh, the book to Mrs. Johnson. She put it in her bag, brought it back to Washington. Did I? Yes, ma'am. And t that's what uh, they tell me here. And you turned it over to the um, to the White House archives. And the book has remained in the White House archives and will remain there. Uh, pending uh, disposition of uh, all of the uh, historic papers. No decision's been made as to where the, it will go as a permanent matter. Now, I'm told by your archivist here, uh, Ms. Johnson, that uh, uh, about a month after uh, November 22, you turned this book over to her and uh, said that uh, it had been handed to you on the plane and that you had put it in your book, in your pocketbook. Is that correct? I don't yeah. remember, frankly. Yeah. Well, that, it's perfectly all right. There's no problem about it. I think the only problem here would exist if we let this story build up. But now the, the net, net of it is that uh, the president didn't know uh,
Johnson. She put it in her bag. She brought it back to Washington. She turned it over to the uh, official White House archives and uh, yet along with other historic papers uh, will uh, go to whatever depository is finally decided upon. I think there's nothing wrong with the story. I think the only thing that would be harmful would be to let it build. Now, just a moment. The fact that it's got those initials on it, uh, JFK, uh, indicates that it is his property. And don't you think in the mind of the ordinary man, a, man, a person's property ought to be returned to them? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Nothing. Not a historic object of this sort. And I don't think the Kennedys will say that. And I don't think the average person will ever think that it ought to be returned. I think they will. I think they are doing this. This is one of the first things they pick out. You steal a Bible, and then the next week it'll be something else, you see. Well, I, I just would ignore that. I think it'd be so unreasonable, and that it would never have entered their minds actually at the time. Because this is Bible. This is a, a book that now belongs to the people of the United States. What we, what Bird thought it was, according to her, was uh, the Catholic uh, version of the Bible uh, trimmed down. That's what they wanted it in it. It is entirely. Uh, and that uh, it was a it, or prayer book. and that it was uh, there in Air Force One with other books uh, where uh, the president and others uh, read them, and just like Camp David, there are a number of things like that in there. And uh, she actually thought it was government issue because on the the place where you're recording, there was no names or nothing in it, and it looked like a rather new book had been put in there. Well, it's, uh, I don't believe you read it very much because I, my opinion, it's never been read for years. <laughs> but it's a um, St. Joseph uh, Sunday Missal, and it has uh, got a little uh, uh, paper label on it saying that the leather cover was designed and hand-tooled in genuine casting by Bernard Cassidy, Medford, Massachusetts. So in my, uh, my guess is that it was President Kennedy's own uh, 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 prayer book. It's the Sunday Missal is what it actually is. All right, now let's dictate to Marie what George Christian says after uh, he is asked, if he is asked. Uh, and uh, now, Mar now Juanita is... Uh, Dorothy on the White House payroll as an archivist. Is that the way we uh, refer okay. to her properly? Is Dorothy on the White House payroll as archivist? She is staff, ass she is staff assistant to the president on the White House payroll. Okay. okay. May I put in one line? Yes, ma'am. I think maybe it ought to be made clear in the statement that the archives are the property of the uh, of government or the property of the people, whatever way you want to describe it, and are administered by them. I don't want it to be thought that this is under the care of the Johnsons. Oh, no, this, these are the official White House archives. I know, but let's make it very clear to the ordinary reading public, if we can. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Does she have that uh, responsibility, Bird? Well, she's... Uh, I'm sure she does. She's maintaining official government yes. files and yes, records. Yes, she does have that responsibility, uh, I think. Uh, of course, she is working um, uh, to, to prepare these uh, for the Johnson Library in... Um, or the Congressional Library or Smithsonian or... She's paid or by Sam. the... Um, well, she's doing it from the standpoint of the Johnsons, but it will belong to the archives of, of, of the... The whole United States. Well, I think the uh, only point I make is that uh, Abe ought to explain to her in case a uh, full, full uh, request right made. And of course, Bill Moyer, uh, he's up there. He would, uh, he, so somebody ought to explain to him. He's sleeping. He's not well. No. And George Christian's here. So dictate now to Juanita, I mean to Marie here, what you think George ought to say, assuming he's asked. All right. Uh, the uh, 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 book on which the president, the book which was used at the time that President Johnson took his oath, is 
is and has been in the official government archives, together with other people. Why don't you say it was placed there uh, shortly after his time? Yeah, I'm going to get in get to that. I say it is and has been in the official government archives, together with other papers of the president. Uh, the uh, book was uh, placed there shortly after the, uh, the book was delivered to the uh, uh, archives uh, at the White House, to the, to the uh, White House archives. It was delivered to the White House. Custody of those papers. Excuse me, sir. The book was delivered to the White House archives? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Which has uh, custody of those papers shortly after. 